Okay friends, one of the first things we have to do to get started on our cabin air filter is to locate it. Go ahead and open up your glove box. Remove anything that might be located inside of it and set it aside. After that, along each side of the glove box, you're going to find that you have some tabs. We're going to grab onto those, pull them in, and then we can bring this down. There we are. Now at this point, you have clear access to the door that holds in the cabin air filter. If you feel like you need more space, you can continue on by removing this along here, which is essentially just with this tab. I feel as though I have plenty of space, so I'm not necessarily worried about it. The next thing that we're going to need to do is have access to a nice flat screwdriver like this one right here. So this area right along here is where the cover is. If you were to look along the left side right there, you can see something that looks exactly like a screwdriver. The reason why that is, is because right in this area right here, there should be an area that kind of comes out a little bit and you can slide your screwdriver straight in. On our particular application, it's broken off. That happens. But if you were to look at the other side, you can tell exactly what it looks like. Now what you would want to do is start over on the driver's side. You're just going to carefully stick your screwdriver in. Once it's in, just carefully twist it a tiny bit and then you should be able to pull on this a little bit. After that, do the same on the other side, right along here. Carefully give it a little twist while you're pulling and then remove the cover. Now the next thing that we're going to do is start sliding our cabin air filter out of here, but be very careful because as you look up inside here, you can tell exactly how much debris is inside there. Also, when we're bringing this out, you're going to want to look along the sides. If you look along this side right here, you can see that it kind of has like a paper flap that comes straight up. It's going to be the exact same thing on the other side. And if you were to look at this, obviously that's going to be in the way. With all that said, let's go ahead and carefully start sliding this out. I'm just going to fold down this edge right here. All right, we got our cabin air filter out of there. Let's go ahead and dispose of this properly and insert our brand new one. If you have access to some compressed air, just go ahead and blow some air inside where the blower motor is and see if you can get out any debris that might have fallen in. Now it's going to be time to install our brand new cabin air filter. Pay attention to this side right here. It tells you which way the airflow is going to go. When we looked at the original cabin air filter, you could tell the majority of the stuff was all stacked along here. That tells me that the air flows downward like this. So of course you want to make sure you have it facing in the right direction. Now, as we start to slide this in, something to pay attention to is this side right along the passenger side. We want to make sure that we kind of have this pushed down a little bit. That way there we can slide it right past this area right here. There we are. Now you just need to double check it. Make sure it's sitting perfectly all the way across. If it looks like it's sitting up in one area, more than likely it's kind of off kilter, probably towards the back. Just carefully pull it out and resituate it. Now we're gonna go ahead and put on our protective access door here. I'll slide it right in here. I'm gonna start with the passenger side. We'll line it up, we'll latch that in. Okay, make your way over to the driver's side. Give that a little push and latch it in as well. Just double check that door, make sure it's nice and tight, and then we'll continue on by closing up our glove box. Squeeze in on each side here. Now we can bring this up. If for some reason you took off the little line right across here, go ahead and make sure you put that back on as well. Aside from that, whatever was inside there, go ahead and put it back, close your glove box.